Welcome to the season finale of Kasi Big Boy Trev. We've had so much fun, it's been an honor. Thank you Toyota for being a proud sponsor and of course, we've had a lot of fun with you guys. Now, on this episode we have amazing things including the Ford Focus, ST and the big boy itself, the Land Cruiser L200 V8. But first things first, let's check out the news. So the first item, Toyota Kenya are just about to launch the brand new Toyota RAV4. Remember the RAV4 was the first vehicle to start the whole crossover business. Now this particular model is larger and bigger and of course much more safer to take on the likes of the Nissan X-Trail, the Renault Collios and of course the Honda CR-V. Now this particular car will be powered by a 2 litre producing 127 kilowatts and of course 203 newton meters of torque paired to a CVT transmission with all wheel drive so you don't get stuck when you're going bundu bashing. Now Toyota will launch this vehicle in a few weeks time and will keep you posted on Cars Big Boy Trev on the new review of the RAV4. DTW are just about to launch the 2019 Mercedes C-Class and this particular model variant has been refreshed to meet the expectations and of course compete with the likes of the BMW 3 Series that was launched a few weeks ago and of course the Jaguar XE. Now this particular model is packed with technology including satellite navigation that works in Kenya. We do have active safety systems including lane keep assist and of course autonomous braking. Now this particular car will cost roughly from about 6 million starting with a 1.5 litre turbocharged all the way to a spanking 4 litre V8 on the C63 AMG. We can't wait to test this particular vehicle. Now back to the Renault Nissan Alliance news where we've just heard that Renault is actively seeking to merge with Nissan. Now this comes at a time when Renault is trying to save face after the CEO and Chief Executive Mr. Carlos Ghosn was arrested in Japan due to corporate malpractices. Now this will make Renault Nissan Alliance the biggest car manufacturer in the world and now they're actually seeking to merge also with Fiat Chrysler Corporation. Now this will make it a super conglomerate that will be able to take on the likes of Volkswagen and Toyota in as far as vehicle production is concerned. Welcome to CBBT social media space. We give you all the details as far as your feedback is concerned. We jump straight to Facebook and you have a gentleman called Maxilo Cheng. He says, thank you so much CBBT for reviewing the Suzuki Sears. Question is, would you pick the Sears over the, over the Toyota Corolla? Well, I do not know until we do a head to head, but if you need a test drive, please visit the Toyota Kenya showroom. You'll find both the Sears and the Corolla available and then you'll be able to make your choice. Now, moving on to Twitter, we do have a gentleman called James Busiene. He says, CBBT, hello, kindly advise me between the Ford Ranger and the Toyota Hilux, durability and fuel consumption. Well, if you go to our social media pages, you'll be able to see the reviews we did of the Ranger and of course the Hilux. Once you watch it, make a decision, but if you're not satisfied, also we'll do a head-to-head -head coming soon to a TV near you. Now the last tweet comes from a gentleman called Jude El Gringo. He says, CBBT, hey man Trev, I am so interested in being a car reviewer. I have a passion for automobile. Well, Jude, all the best. Uh, just read, do your research, and actively seek to become a reviewer by reviewing your own vehicle or any vehicle that you have access to. And then from there on, turn, pick up your skills and be able to make a good vehicle reviewer. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being part of Kazu Big Boy Trev. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or queries, do not hesitate to write to us as seen the social media handles below. So step right in the spacious cabin of the Land Cruiser VX. Man, this car suits me. There is so much space, even for my tummy. I mean, listen, this is what a big
big car needs to feel spacious. It's like you're flying business class. For those who've done that, you can actually tell the seats are quite comfortable and luxurious. But before we even get to that, let's look at the dashboard. The center console here houses a multi-touch screen display that houses different settings. So you have your climate control, you do have your audio system, and of course navigation, information, and of course so many things on setup that allows you to adjust different parameters of the vehicle. And that is very important. And speaking of audio system, this car is fitted with JBL synthesis. For those who do not know JBL, just bloody loud. That's what it means. It's an American firm that deals with premium sound technology. And this is how it sounds. Put it here. This is more than real, because your way is too beautiful. telling you the sound on this thing i know our politicians whoever vip would love to listen to the kind of music they'd enjoy their time in this particular car this is a long distance vehicle so having a good and proper sound system just makes a lot of sense now go below it you do have a four zone climate control system that allows you to control the various temperature cabin settings within the car so the front people can have their own temperature the rear people can also have their own and it's independent and you have multitude of vents all the way to the back so that even the people at the second row feel very comfortable while in the Lion Cruiser VX. On the gearbox console you do have so many settings, I don't know where to begin but I'll start with the USB and auxiliary port uh, section where you can plug in your stuff and you can control everything on the radio or audio system. Again you do have seat warming and cooling, remember it's very hot in Nairobi, it's close to 30 degrees on a daily basis, sitting in traffic you need to be cool so the seats can be cooled down until you feel very cool and comfortable when it's very cold in the next few months then you can you know turn the wick up and it's become very hot courtesy of these perforated seats that allow air in and the circulation based on that you do have the traditional gear shift leader it's called the gated shift and it's a six-speed automatic of course you do have uh, you know tiptronic functionality with this particular gearbox importantly is a four-wheel drive system now this particular four-wheel drive system has a torsion differential so you have so many settings so you can add, lock the diff if you need be on low range and you do have hill descent and hill ascent control and then you can use the kdds to raise the suspension so that you can go off-road quite easily again you can also select uh, the suspension setting for comfort normal or sport if you're driving on tarmac so you feel quite comfortable right again this particular car has also a crawl setting now when you're climbing up on rocks like this then you'll be able to drive this particular car with ease long distances favor this car you do have a cooler box it's a proper fridge that works so you can have cool drinks while in the vx i think most of the vips would love that and let's go to the back and see how many people it sits because it's a seven seater it's very comfortable i know the space is fantastic especially at the back left it is very very good and even at the back So guys, when you move at the back of the Land Cruiser VX, I can tell you it has so much space. Now on this particular section, you do have a twin split tailgate that allows you to load things very easily. Of course, right now you can see the seats are all in use, the seven seats, but if you lie it flat, then you have so much space. You have plenty of tie-down hooks, electronic uh, you know, seat adjusters, and of course you have plenty of cabrioles and spaces for the rear passengers to enjoy the cabin of the VX. That is enough guys, now we need to go off-road and on-road and see if the VX is a car for you. Keep it cars with Big Boy Trail. Today is an exciting day. We've had a chance to sample the Ford Focus ST. This is just below the RS. It's a performance version that is not sold in Kenya, but we've had a chance to sample it here in Germany. And I'm just going to give you a lowdown about it. So first things first, let's go really quick to the dashboard. And you can see it's a typical Ford design. Of course, you do have a large multi-touch display screen that houses the climate control, the audio system, navigation. And of course, it comes with Ford Sync 2. 
Now this allows you to activate certain functions of the vehicle without taking your hands off the wheel, especially if you're driving a fast car like this and you're able to control uh, from the radio to making phone calls to uh, checking route maps. All that has been incorporated to make sure that this particular car when you're driving it you feel as if you're one with the vehicle. Of course you can see the subtle, subtle lines on the dashboard flowing down you have the climate control which is dual zone and then of course you do have a manual stick shift for those who do not know how to drive a manual this car is a manual it's a six-speed manual synchronous of course you do also have a stability control and a skid assist the driver instrument binnacle is clear precise let's up in a blue hue as well just to you know make sure that you feel not powered by too much light it lets you read all the manuals from the tachometer to the speedometer and of course you do have a vehicle information display that gives the critical aspects of the car so you do have your battery your check engines all the sensors that you really need to check out are on that screen and it's easy to read again on the steering wheel you do have also uh, satellite buttons you do have cruise control over here um, you can also control the volume of your radio and also make telephone calls switch them off and of course use the Ford Sync 2 voice command system again this vehicle over here does have plenty of cubbyholes and spaces remember it's a family hatchback so it's got uh, cup holders uh, you do have also spaces here on the door bin and the center console over here the seats Recaro hugging seats they are tough they are both set to make sure that you you don't move around especially you're turning in hard corners that makes this car very very comfortable to drive big boy is comfortable i know this part is a little bit tight but I, i'm enjoying it because just get used to it and you're able to drive this car uh, quite comfortably even on hard corners you still feel as if you're driving a normal ford focus you do have uh, six airbags uh, all around and of course the primary safety equipment is this as usual the seat belts so when you're speeding remember to always wear your seat belt let's move to the back and see how big the boot is so moving at the back you can see here the ford focus st is as practical as any other ford focus it's got plenty of luggage space if you want more then the seats lie flat and you can carry so much your luggage you know your kids uh, backpacks especially if they're going to school but if you're alone then you don't need the seats down you need the seats up you need to get in the front seat and drive speaking of that you want to test the power and performance of this ford focus st are you ready let's go Brake Assist Commonly referred to as either Brake Assist or Emergency Brake Assistance, it just does that. It provides extra braking power when the driver attempts to perform an emergency stop. A travel sensor attached to the brake pedal allows the Brake Assist system to detect when the driver attempts an emergency stop and regardless of the amount of pressure actually applied, it applies maximum braking force until the car is brought to a halt. Some more recent braking assistance systems can even detect sudden lift off from the pedal and receive an imminent crash warning from the radar or cruise control system. By that way, when the driver slams on the brakes, the maximum braking force is available for use immediately. It's a beautiful day out here and we in Germany sampling the Ford Focus ST. This 1.5 litre turbo engine produces 250 horsepower and about 360 newton meters of torque, which is enough to make you go like this. <laughs> the beauty of Ford, the chassis is just sublime. You pull it. <laughs> you feel the balance it's a front-wheel drive vehicle and uh, it has something called the revenue it literally uh, tries to counter counteract torque steer remember if it's a front-wheel drive the, the drive shafts because of the design of the engine are not equally length so right now you're able to drive this car effectively again 
Up front, you do have McPherson struts. At the back, you do have a multi-link rear suspension that keeps this car planted at all times. Very good, you think? This thing is just a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm happy that Ford is still in the business of making people happy. Uh -huh. uh, this used to be the business that Subaru was in until uh -huh. they decided that they want to focus on the American market. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> on the American market and family vehicles. That's uh -huh. why they put a CVT in their car. Yes. This does not have a CVT. Fantastic six-speed manual here. Having the time of our lives in this car. This car is so nice. And then it is so ultimately customizable. I mean, the, the guy who's let us drive this car right now has just done two or three mods, but the problem he's having is trying to figure out what specifically to do, because there are so many parts available, yes. it is so customizable. I think the only thing he's done right now with the car is, um, he's changed the air filter, he's put a KN, mm -hmm. he's done a straight pipe, which we can hear right now, yes. <laughs> making all sorts of fantastic fun noises, but to putting 250 horsepower through that front wheel, fabulous. If you're a Subaru boy yeah. and you're and you and you're sad about the death of Subaru as a sporting vehicle, this is the car to get. Look at that car. <laughs> the sounds, the sounds these people making. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this, this, as in driving has become such a boring thing. Yes. And I think it's it's great that we have to come to Germany to light this fire again. Yes. You know, because we're in a place where speed limits are not really a thing. Yes. You know, driving culture is very different. Yes. And, uh, oh my god, this was the right car for this. Guys, listen, I mean, <laughs> we at CBPT try to make sure that we bring you stuff that is not available in Kenya. So if you want to check out our YouTube, please follow us on our YouTube channel and send us, do you like this car? Do you want to see the Ford Focus ST and probably the RS one day? Or if you belong to these clubs, Subaru owners and the Volkswagen owners, let's do a race one of these days we can get a golf gti we can get a subaru wrx sti and of course a focus if you have a focus please don't hesitate to write to us and then we'll organize a meetup and then discuss the various aspects of uh, street racing and things like that in a safe environment remember we always are championing for safety on our roads guys it's been real this is big boy drive this is Murigi. cheers and take care gentlemen today I'm driving the 4.5 V8 Land Cruiser by Toyota this is what every single SUV is measured on if you want power like this it just pulls effortlessly now this is courtesy of a 4.5 liter twin turbo V8 producing guess what 173 kilowatts and 650 newtons of torque that allows this car to pull like this This is it. This is what life is made of. Now this is power and raw power. And all that power is sent to the four wheels. Cut a silver six-speed automatic. And of course you have intelligent four-wheel drive settings. You can control the amount of traction going to each wheel. Be it rock, mud, sand, rat, you name it. This particular big boy, VX V8, can do it. The king of the hill. This car is a legend. And not only is it a legend, it's a legend that was forged in the soil, the mud, the rocks, the rivers and valleys of this continent. Yes. It's not a joke, this Africa is what made the Land Cruiser what it is. It's what gave it that legendary capability and it's just as in, it's not even a question. This is the gold standard of off-road capability. You do have diff lock on and off, then you have the suspension setting which is comfort, normal and sport plus especially if you're driving fast you do have the off-road settings again where there's crawl and then you, you can activate the kdds to allow this car to rise up or low depending on the surface or the situation that you're driving in and of course you do have the favorite thing that i love these days heated seats and cooling guys this is something that you know we take for granted but as we head towards the rainy season and the cold season you'll appreciate the heated seats of the vx right now because it is extremely hot we are appreciating the cooling facility 
of this particular car or the seats. Remember, this car has six airbags, so it reaches everyone who's occupying this particular car all the way to the back. So you can be rest assured that this particular car will keep you and your family from harm's way. Active safety systems as well. You do have blind spot assist. You do have cross uh, traffic alerts. You do have adaptive cruise control. Guys, we've had an extensive review of the Land Cruiser VX V8. There's a reason why people love it, and I can tell you for a fact. If there's a contender of the best SUV in Kenya, this right here is one of them. Now, pricing. I don't want to spoil the party. Please visit Toyota Kenya and they'll give you the pricing. There's a special offer. So if you go right now, they'll give you an offer that you will be happy and be able to enjoy the Land Cruiser VX in all its glory. But before that, who are the key rivals of the VX? Well, after today's review, I'm not sure it actually has rivals. Yes. But early in the season, we checked out the Nissan Patrol. And of course, you have to always think about the Range Rover. Absolutely. And I can tell you for a fact that this particular car comes with a three-year, 100,000 kilometer warranty courtesy of Toyota Kenya. And you can rely on the extensive network courtesy of this Toyota brand. Guys, that's it. It's a wrap like Moi. It's been a real season. Thank you so much for joining us on Cars with Big Boy Trev. We thank you for the support, for the emails, for the DMs. You've been real. But before we go, we always online. Tell us. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel. We have a lot of content that we are putting up every day to make sure that you stick with Cars with Big Boy Trev. In the meantime, check out our social media channels. Hala. Trev. Yes, it's been real. Season 2 is coming, guys. Stay tuned to a TV screen near you. I promise you, we'll be back with a bang. Hasta la vista, baby. Be safe. And drive safe.